Hello everybody, it's uh, John Cadell here from Still Horse Racing TV. Today we'll be doing a tutorial on how to use open broadcaster software to record your races using a triple monitor setup with iRacing. I know a lot of people that use triple monitors have a very hard time, you know, knowing how to record their races. They think, well, I can't record all three screens, it would look messed up, you can't post that on YouTube. And I have a triple monitor set up, stream all on YouTube and Twitch all the time. And it's actually not as complicated as you would think. Um, like I said, we're recording iRacing using open broadcaster software. I've done a tutorial on this in the past. Open broadcaster software is a great piece of uh, software. It's available at obsproject.com. Uh, it's free, which is the best thing. And it gives you great quality videos at low uh, file size. And it, which is a lot better than what Fraps would give you. Fraps, you know, records that lossless video takes up a butt ton of uh, processing power and it'll bog your computer down. Not very uh, conducive for live racing action, you know. And uh, XSplit, that's another piece of software you can use, but honestly, XSplit, it, it takes up more processing power and costs 15 bucks every three months, and nobody wants to spend money on that kind of crap. So I use Open Broadcaster uh, software here. So what we're going to do is we'll go ahead and dive into uh, what we're doing here. I've got a fresh uh, install of Open Broadcaster software here. And we're going to uh, go into our settings. So click on settings, go to settings, and go down to encoding. Now what we want to do is uncheck use CBR. This quality balance here, for better quality videos, you're obviously going to want to put this at 10. Um, it'll use up a little bit more processing power. Um, but if you want to, make, want to make your videos look great and you have the, the CPU for it, put it at 10. You can adjust as necessary um, for your CPU. All right, now max bit rate, you can leave that alone. alone excuse me. And go to custom buffer size. You want to check that. And change your buffer size to zero. And we're going to click apply for that. You can change your audio settings if you want to to get better quality audio. I usually leave it at default. All right, so we're under um, recording only. Um, you know, they have a live stream option here for you. You can go to Twitch, YouTube, whatnot. Um, I only use, right now we're only uh, doing the recording tutorial. And I'm more, my path is going to be under my eDrive under tutorials. And we're going to save that there. And under video. We're going to set this to 1920 by 1080. Um, you'll usually have 5760 by 1080 up there. 1920 by 1080, it will automatically capture your center monitor here. Um, it centers the uh, centers the location on the monitor, and what what surround and uh, ATI iFinity do is emulate all three monitors as one monitor with one big resolution. So if you just type in 1920 by 1080, it'll automatically go to your center monitor and then uh, what I do um, you don't have to do this but I would highly recommend it is downscale under the resolution downscale click down on that and click on 1280 by 720 uh, that way you'll, you're only going to be able to record 720p videos with most processors because 1080p video while you're gaming um, using the same processor is going to is going to use a lot use up a lot of your CPU is going to cause lag in your game Gonna make your video not as good because your video your CPU is gonna be overloaded, so it's gonna mess up your game and your video. Nobody wants that. So for my processor, I only use 1280 by 720. So we're gonna click apply on that. And we're gonna to go to uh, under hotkeys. Uh, I'm gonna just make this easy for myself. So for start recording and stop recording, I'm gonna use control F1 and control F2 just for the purposes of video. And then we're gonna to go to advanced, make sure you apply your changes. All right, so what you want to do is use CFR, should be checked, and then we're going to go to Custom X264 Encoder Settings. And what we're going to type in is CRF equals, and then you can choose a number between 1 and 20. I recommend starting between 15 and 20. Um, it's going to, that compresses your video more, makes a lower video size, lose a little bit of quality, but this is what separates uh, OBS from Fraps. So you can choose a number between 1 and 20. Like I said, I recommend between 15 and 20 just for CPU usages, making everything you know go smoothly. It doesn't affect your uh, frames per second too much. All right, so we're going to click apply there. And that's pretty much all we have to do for our settings. Now we're going to want to go in and add a game source here. So under sources, right click, add, 
and click Game Capture. We're going to name that one iRacing, obviously, since that's what we're uh, doing the tutorial on. And under Select Application, make sure you have iRacing.com Simulator, iRacing Sim 64 selected. And the biggest thing, since uh, iRacing's latest build release, um, they have enabled EAC, uh, the anti-cheat. So OBS has a workaround for that. We can click this checkbox here, checkbox here anti-cheat compatibility hooking. And if you don't check that, you're only going to get a black screen. That's not going to do anybody any good for recording your races. So make sure you have that checked. And just click OK. And that's pretty much it. I've already got iRacing running in the background, which I forgot to say the beginning of the stream. You should already have iRacing running in the background. So I've got a replay from uh, my race last night at American Sim Racing Series. So we're going to go ahead and click on that. And I'm going to move my scene up here. And we'll go ahead and click on iRacing here. And this is uh, under a green flag run from last night. So you can start it anywhere. Press play. And like I said, we use Control F1 for recording. That'll start recording your video. And you can put together clips, record the whole race, whatnot. Like this is for a replay right here. You press Control F1, it's recording in the background. As you can see, I really didn't I'm not getting any frames drops at all. And then I press Control F2, stop recording. And we can go ahead and pause this race and alt tab out. And here under my tutorials folder where I pointed it to save is a video. I can double click on that video and bam, there's the video that it recorded. And as you can see, really there isn't much uh, pixelation or anything. It's not as good a quality video as actually watching on the screen, but this will be good for YouTube or whatnot. You can put together clips with the video editing software, however you please. Um, so there's that. And this also works for... Uh, when you're actually racing. Uh, we'll go ahead and put out of this here and I'll load up a test session for Kansas. I got a race coming up this week at Kansas anyways. So we'll go ahead and do a test session at Kansas. I'm about to get my handy dandy steering wheel out here. Nice little fanatic steering wheel here with a convenient quick release. If I can get the damn thing on there. E Kicking my butt over here. Oh yeah. Oh, gotta line it up just right, huh? That would help. Do, do, do. I had the thing upside down. Not very quick for a quick release, huh? Alright. Bam, it's on there. Alright. We can go ahead and go on to test. Change my field of view here. I lost my calibration there, but as you can see, we can just go in here. Oh, I didn't lose calibration. Here we go. We start racing. Press Control F1. And bam! It's recording in the background, and I'm still capped out at 84 frames a second. Obviously, that's going to change as I get other cars around me, but it's recording the video up there in the background. Go ahead and make a lap here. As you can see, I'm still capped out at 84 frames a second. Um, not really experiencing any choppiness, jumpiness, or anything. Um, my driving kind of sucks, but oh well. Yeah, we'll go ahead and do a little crash here. Now make the CPU think a little bit more. But as you can see, there is no uh, no drops on frames there. Go ahead and exit out of the car. Press Control F2 to stop the recording. And we have a new video here under tutorials. And there we go. And we'll go ahead and fast forward to uh, my wreck here. And there's no blurriness or nothing because the, what we, the way we set it up, it adjusts the bit rate as uh, the fluid motion on the screen changes. That's pretty much it in a nutshell on how we're going to uh, record your center monitor. There are a lot of other uh, nifty things you can do with OBS, adding overlays, whatnot. Um, there's plenty of tutorials for that on YouTube, and if you have any questions, just 
ask me in the uh, comment section or go to facebook.com slash steelhorse tv and send me a message uh, that's it for today's tutorial if you have any other requests for tutorials or uh, any other questions about our racing feel free to ask and I'll see y'all next time